My name is Alaolu Adigun. The title of my poster is Bidirectional Backpropagation and I work with Professor Bart Kosko and I'm five years into my PhD program. My name is Mahdi Nazemi and I'm a fifth year PhD student at the Sport Lab of USC. But the title of my presentation is Deep Neural Network Compression Through Boolean Logic Minimization. My name is Sandeep Nalan Chakravartala. Uh, the title of my poster is Modeling How Couples Influence Each Other's Behavior During Therapy Interactions. I am from the SCUBA lab, uh, headed by Professor Panayotis Giorgio, and this is the sixth year of my PhD program. For my research, what I've done in this case is to use a single neural network to be able to map a function from input to the output space and also to be able to map from output space back to the input space using the same single network. It makes the bidirectional backpropagation to perform better in terms of classification accuracy than using just the ordinary backpropagation for training. It finds application in areas such as computer vision, natural language processing, classification tasks, and so many other uh, areas like that. DNNs are capable of solving high-level tasks that humans are able to do. For example, if you use DNNs in energy-constrained platforms like cell phones or wearables like smartwatches, so you can get all those benefits that DNN provide you on smaller, more constrained platforms. The algorithm we have proposed here is presented for the first time, so it's a completely new paradigm for processing DNNs. We are trying to analyze how people speak and what information we can get from that, how patients behave during therapy, and how, and how this information can be used to give feedback to psychologists. So far, all the work that has done this has focused on only one person. We showed that using the partner's information not only improves the accuracy of your behavior identification, but also gives you additional uh, data that can be used for further analysis. So for instance, in this work, what we saw is that the kind of interaction between people has a relation to how their therapy outcomes are, like in the future. From the MHI first of all, uh, it gave me an opportunity to talk to people that are applying neural network in general to their day-to-day job in the industry. One of the feedbacks I found more interesting was from someone who was working on MRI imaging and he explained to me how they use deep neural networks on their applications. They're trying to integrate deep neural networks with MRI to be able to detect anomalies or stuff like that. And he told me how this may be applied to their projects. Because sometimes I think I'm the only one doing this and then I find out that someone thinks they're doing something else but in a way our Research are kind of you know, intersecting, so we can definitely have some exchange of ideas from that. 